support provided by the Chesapeake and Newport News with chef-centric farm-to-table dining. TheChesapeake.org. Hi friends, Jay Sennett. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jay here in the Jazz Kitchen. Hope all of you are doing well. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching the show. Greatly appreciate it. Today I'm going to prepare for you uh, pork medallions with a peach brandy jus or peach brandy sauce. Okay, and it's going to be delicious. And I'm making some um, pan cooked red potatoes over there, baby potatoes, as a side to go with it, and then maybe some French green beans. But the star of the show today, the pork. And I got a pork loin, and because of time, the time factor with the show, obviously you have to have some prep <laughs> taken care of before we start shooting this. I got a pork loin. Get my trusty knife, and I take off the silver skin, the fat part of the uh, pork tenderloin, okay? And then we slice it um, like little medallions, like so, right? And then I season this pork with a black garlic ramen pepper and some salt and a pinch of onion powder, okay? And then I dredge it in some flour, okay? That's how I'm cooking this pork tenderloin, these pork tenderloin medallions. Then I have some peaches, diced up some peaches. Mm. Love these things. I <laughs> eat this whole bowl of these peaches. Um, so let's go over to the stove and let's get rolling with the dish. Okay. Turn this up a little bit. As you can see, these are some diced up fingerling red potatoes. And again, these aren't the star of the show. This pork tenderloin is. I have some olive oil in here. And this should be, I guess, hot enough right now. And this pork, this pork won't take long to cook, actually. I can actually have it a little bit hotter. But it'll be okay. I'm not getting my sizzle. Because I had it low when I was talking to you. The fire. I had the fire low. See, what happens if you if you put your, your protein in the oil before it gets hot enough, it, some of that, a lot more of that oil is going to sink into the meat. And so you're going to have kind of a greasy meat. So you don't want that, right? So make sure your, your, your oil is hot enough. This is okay. This was right on the edge, but now it's pretty much hot enough now. So I get these pork medallions that are coated in flour and some seasoning. Uh, okay. How many can we get in here? I don't know. I'm going to get as many as I can. Of course, you know, you wear black when you're trying to cook. With flour, <laughs> it's going to get all over you at some point. It's just a matter of, it's not a question of when. I mean, a question of if, it's a question of when. And my potatoes are just about done. I love some good pan seared potatoes or pan cooked potatoes. I just leave the skin on them, dice them up. Season them with some salt and pepper, some garlic powder, some thyme, dry thyme. Okay, you can use fresh thyme if you want. I think we have room for a couple more. Okay, last one. Get in there. Alright. So. Ba -da -ba. Rest this a little bit. So I'm going to take that pork out of there. Okay. Yeah, nice. And that flour on there too will absorb some of that oil. So you want to make sure you got enough oil around there. Just for just for a couple of minutes each side. While she 
himself appears. Okay, cooking beautifully. And when the pork is done, I'm going to take, take it out, put it in this bowl, and we'll add some butter to this, and we're going to make these peaches. And we'll put some brandy in there, so it might, we might get the whoosh, the flame happening. I don't know. I'll see how I do that. See, it's a risk doing that in here because I don't want to make the fire alarm go off. All right, so got to watch that. But I have my trusty lid in case the fire gets out of control. All you do is go boop, cover up the flame, and you're good to go. So that's if you feel the flame is too out of control, you know. But the alcohol will burn itself off, and the flame will fairly quickly diminish, but if you think it's a little bit too big, just get the lid, all right? Wow. Man, these potatoes smell great. Okay, so, there they are, there they are. I want to turn this over. Like I said, it doesn't take long to cook these, just a few minutes on each side. The flour will give it a little bit of crispness. Now you can also add a touch of cornstarch to flour. I want to go that route. Add some extra crisp. Okay. I'm going this left handed, ladies and gentlemen. One more. All right, now we got just a couple of minutes left on this pork. All right, a couple of minutes. The potatoes are just about, I would say, done. Can you taste one? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Perfect texture. Now, what I do with these potatoes, I think I do a little fingerling potatoes slice them up, and I boil them for about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes. Drain them, um, get some olive oil in the saucepan, put the potatoes in the pan, get the grease hot with grease, <laughs> get the oil hot, and put the, put the potatoes in the pan. Season with salt and pepper, I put some uh, garlic powder in these potatoes, and a little dry thyme, some dry thyme. Okay, we're closing in on this pork being done, it, they're, they're thin sliced, okay, so you're not going to cook that long, okay. Turn this down a little bit. Alright, so what I'm going to do is remove, no, just let them go for just another minute, another minute. And the thing, the beautiful thing too about pork, it goes great with fruit, right? Apples, for example, everybody knows about pork and apples, right? You can make yourself a nice pork hash with some apples and potatoes. Blueberries, actually. You can do something with pork and blueberries, that's pretty interesting. Uh, but today, I'm using peaches. And could you use pineapple? Yes! Of course, strawberries, eh, I don't know about strawberries, no, 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 but, but peaches and some of the other fruits that I named, I think will go well. All right, let's get this pork out of here. We are ready, ladies and gentlemen, thinly sliced pork loin. Why don't you get more than one piece at one time, Jay? <laughs> Now, I'm going to add some butter to this, and I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. You can see, leave, oh, we're out. Leave what's left over in that pan, because that's the good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. That is the good stuff. Yes, sir. I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar. 
Okay, a little bit of brown sugar. Add some of these peaches. Now, here comes the tricky part. You have to be pretty careful, all right? Brandy, it might, it might not. It didn't, ladies and gentlemen, it did not. That's okay. Ooh. Yes, now I'm going to add a touch of chicken broth. So I'm going to let that cook down just a little bit, that alcohol. It's thickening up a little bit. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Add some of this broth. Maybe a half cup. Okay. Nice. pinch of balsamic glaze in here. Just a little bit of balsamic glaze. And one thing I want to do, I want to taste this sauce. Making sure I'm on the right track with this. And you know, I love it when I taste it and I get it right, right out of the gate. But there is that occasional time where you taste it and you go, nah. Either it doesn't work, <laughs> or either just a touch of this or a touch of that, and then you take it home, right? Oh, one thing I do want to do, I'll add a little bit more of this balsamic glaze. Because what that does, and a touch, a little dab of lemon juice to take that edge off that brown sugar. A little acidic quality in there with the vinegar. 
taste this here in a second. And I think we will just about have it. And you know, one thing I didn't put in here, it's, it's, it's a sweet and savory dish, folks. It's a sweet and savory dish. So you say, why would you put the salt in here with the sugar? Well, sweet and savory, sweet and savory, you know? It works, and pork is beautiful with this. Okay, so let me try this now. And it's a perfect consistency. Look at that, just slides off that spoon, that sauce, that jus, you know? The jus wraps. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got it. We took it home. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right. Let's go back over here. Let's go over here to the counter because what I'm going to do is take this entire, <laughs> both pans, I'm not going to even plate right yet because I still want to make some French green beans, okay? This, ladies and gentlemen, is what's happening on Cooking with Jay today. My black garlic ramen pepper pork medallions, right? I get a tenderloin, take the silver skin off, slice them up, season them with that black garlic ramen pepper and some salt, put a little onion powder in there as well, and then I coat it with flour. I did add a little garlic powder in there as well in that flour. Okay, get some olive oil, cook the pieces, the medallions in the olive oil, a couple of minutes, three, two, three minutes each side because they're very, very thin. Remove them from the pan. Keep everything in the pan. The drippings in the pan. Okay, that's flavor. That's all. That, all that is is flavor. Add some butter, a little bit of brown sugar. Then I put the sliced peaches in there. I took the skin off the peaches, but you you don't have to. Okay, and put the peaches in there and get them kind of soft, not too, not overly soft. I don't want to cook them too much. Then um, I add. Uh, what else? I add some brandy, okay, kind of deglazing the pan a little bit, cook some of the alcohol off, don't let it go all the way. And then you add some chicken broth, about a cup of chicken broth. All right, let it simmer a little bit, then add some balsamic glaze in there, and then I add a little bit of lemon juice. If it's too sweet, if you put a little bit too much sugar in a brown sugar, I use brown sugar, if you put too much brown sugar, just put a little lemon juice in there to offset the acidic will offset the sugar. Okay, sweet and savory. And I have these roasted red potatoes. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to prepare my dish, go eat. Cooking with Jay airs Sunday evening starting at 6 on the WHO Public Media Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, send in a session, my jazz show, Monday through Thursday nights, 9 to 1, Saturday mornings from 1 until 5, Sunday afternoons from 1 until 5. And I also host the RB Chronicles from 7 until 8 on WHRV FM 89.5. Um, hope you enjoyed today's show. And if you can't watch it at 6 on Sunday evening, 6 p.m., watch it at 9, 10 later that evening, scroll down and the show will still be on there. And you can actually scroll way down and you can get previous episodes as well. Thank you for, for watching. Until the next episode of Cooking with Jay, be safe out there, friends. I'm Jay Sennett. We'll see you soon with some more great food. Support provided by the Chesapeake in Newport News, catering to the palate of every single resident. More at thechesapeake.org.